So I have a property under contract and my question is when I, we looked them up right after it on the tax assessor's office in another state, a virtual deal, they are not on it as the owner. So then I double questioned them and they sent me over their mortgage statement, their deed and everything. And based on that, they are the owner. They've owned it for six months and now I'm locking it up to close on it. And I do have an, you know, I'm looking for the attorney in that state, which is um, Mississippi. So my question is, how does this work now that, you know, do we just call the tax assessor's office and say, hey, um, apparently you've missed this and they can fix it? Or do I just, now am I in trouble that this is not going to close properly? Or what, have you encountered this before? Jeff, I'll default to your game. You know what? I'm sorry. I didn't hear part of it. Just well, I was what attacking I, you. I was trying to <laughs> <laughs> What it sounded like, Sophia, is, oh, so you've got it under contract now? Yes. Have you started title search? No. So that title search, I think, is going to uncover any issues there that this may potentially lead to. Um, it may just be, you know, where did you call the tax assessor or you just looked on their website? We're going to do that tomorrow. My assistant comes in tomorrow. Okay. Like, because I was going to say, if, it, if you looked up on the GIS, like their online thing, that may not be totally up to date. If they, if you, the person you bought it from just bought it six months ago, yes. who knows? You see what I mean? So it may just be some kind of clerical issue. Right. Is that a problem when my attorney goes to uh, gather this information, the lien comes back okay, title search comes back okay. Well, the title search won't, will that come back okay? Because the tax assessor's office has the old owner? Well. Can I close on it? Is gonna you can close on it as long as you get your title insurance, if that's what you want to do. And I normally the title don't. Company, okay, well, the, I mean, you can close on anything you want but you, you may end up closing something subject to this underlying lien. So you wanna get it clarified, Blair's right, get a preliminary title report, see what it shows. You may be worried about something that's not a deal. Right, because there's no way, when my question is how the heck did they get a mortgage and a deed in their name as the owners and then the, the county still has it six months ago from the old owner named Linda? I'm surprised. Yeah. They, they, they may just not update online their websites. I mean, there's a lot of reasons for it. It's probably okay. And what you're just looking at is a, a timing error. Okay. On posted information online. It's probably okay. So if the county if somebody got ever... If somebody got a new mortgage mm -hmm. on a house, I just about guarantee you it's everything before that's clean.